Good morning and welcome back to the Mallards in Macclesfield. Uh, we're indoors again this morning as the weather isn't as nice as last week. Today in the church is celebrated as Trinity Sunday, the day when we remember our God is somehow one God yet mysteriously reveals himself to us in three persons. A Sunday which many find confusing, which isn't the most easy thing to understand. And yet perhaps the thing we need to remember is Trinity and the idea and the theology and the doctrine of Trinity is borne out by experience. Experience of who God is and how he has revealed himself to his people through the generations. It's a particularly Christian concept, this idea that God can be revealed as Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Creator, sustainer, saviour different words to mean the same thing. This morning's reading talks about Jesus going back to heaven after his death and resurrection and he gives his disciples a command in the gospel reading this morning. Very simple and straightforward command it may seem to be although it's not the easiest to understand sometimes. Go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. Baptism in the name of the Trinity. And it's perhaps through baptism that we can begin to understand this idea of Trinity a little closer. Baptism in the name of the Son. We come to faith in Jesus as we understand that he is God's Son. Born of Mary, yet the Son of God. The one who came to earth to show God's goodness and God's love for the world who come to show us who God was and, and what he's like to come and share the story of God and the good news that God loves us all and is good to us all and wants us to know him and have a restored relationship with him. It's through faith in Jesus as the son of God, faith in him as the saviour who died on the cross that we might have our sins, our shame, our lost past forgiven that we might be restored to a relationship with God. Faith in Jesus through the cross, through his death and through his resurrection enables us to see that Jesus is the Son of God. That's the first part of the journey. We're baptised into the Son, into his death and into his resurrection to live a new life for him. And yet that baptism, because of our faith in Jesus, brings us closer to the Father, the Creator, the Lord God Almighty. Because we're told in the Bible that that baptism in faith means that God adopts us as his children, as his sons and daughters. We have a new life, a new hope, a new place, not necessarily in this earthly life, but in the eternal life, as sons and daughters of the living God, as sons and daughters of the Creator, Father God, which is quite an amazing privilege when you think about it. Jesus always points to the Father, to draw us into relationship with the Father, to bring us closer to this Father God who loves us and cares for us and always wants the best for us. But the Father promises that through this family relationship we have, he pours out his spirit on us as a kind of seal, guarantee of what has happened, that our faith has been true in Jesus that our faith has pointed us to the Father, that we are children of God, and as children of God, we have the same inheritance of Jesus. We can be filled by the Holy Spirit, the part of God that lives inside us, that enables us to live our lives for Jesus and for God, that empowers us to be his people, to live his life, enables us to pray, enables us to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus with those we meet. Of course during these difficult times that might be quite difficult because we're not used to meeting people anymore but as we live our lives as we share with people we are empowered by God's spirit to live his life to bring the goodness and the love of God into this world the spirit yes is a doctrine is a mystery is is hard to understand but the trinity is about who we are as Christians living a faith in Jesus coming to know God through him and being empowered by the Spirit to live that same kind of life Jesus lived. 
and that promise is with us at the end of that passage. Be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God is with us. God lives inside of us. God loves us and pours his goodness into us and through us. Let us be a blessing to those around us each and every day. Let us pray. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Go faithfully into the week, knowing that you are empowered by the Spirit, loved by God, and you are following in the steps of Jesus.